Hi, I thought I'd just make a wee tutorial to... Since it's been such a long time coming, I don't know. But, yeah. Um, so, here I am, just prepping my skin right now with the uh, Superdrug Vitamin E range moisturiser. It is the Intense Moisture Cream. And then I just put in some lip balm and now I'm going through my brows with a clear gel. I just use the collection one because it's cheap and it just, just does a trick. And yeah, it just kind of sets, which is fat. Just want to say don't really expect much uh, obviously never done this before so i'm just new yeah anyway so i'm gonna go through and put a eyeshadow base on my lid it's the paid louise base in rumor 2 and i'm gonna take that on the morphe m224 brush and just go under my brow just to like carve that out and i once i've got the desired shape I want. I'm just going to be patting that product on to like to get nice and tacky for the shadows. So now I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and I'm just buffing out the edges so it blends into my skin and patting that, uh, just the product into my eyes so it's all even and blended and nothing is like, there's not too much at one side. And now I'm just getting a, quite a, a thick brush, I can't even think of the word right now and I've taken the Stacey Marie uh, the Be Perfect Station Marie palette, the XL1, and the Colors Haul, and I'm just packing that on to my lid, and I kind of just along like the my crease and down to the outer V, and now I'm taking a smaller brush, um, which will allow me to blend out, and I'm going to take the Dewy's Place Zulu palette. And I'm just taking the brown in there as I've shown. And I'm just buffing out the edges half on, half off to just get a kind of seamless blend and make it all nice and pretty. So now I'm just grabbing a wee cotton pad and rubbing the excess shadow that was on that brush. And I'm going to take a mix of the orange and the yellow and do the same. Uh, but just onto the browns and that'll just really blend it right into the, the skin and make it really seamless. I really like how this looks. Yeah, I think it brings it really like a something else to it than just browns. I love a bit of a yellow and a, a, wee, a wee smoky look. So now I'm just packing back on the uh, Stacey Marie palette brown and the Zulu palette brown just to make sure they're still bright. So now back to Stacey Marie palette, I'm going to go in for a darker brown and it's the intuition one and that's just to darken it all out and add some depth to it Now that I'm happy with that blend, I feel like it's still not too dark, so I'm going to pick up the black from the Stacey Marie palette and that's called Lights Out and just make sure that it's just as deep as I want it and I'm quite happy with that there. 
and again I'm just going back over with previous colours to make sure that they're still noticeable and that it's all blended and seamless and you can see every single colour. So now that I'm done with blending I'm going to take the P. Louise base again but this time in the shade 0 so that's just a pure white. I feel that's a really good base so I'm just going to take that on the back of my hand and the Morphe M224 brush again and the way I like to do it is I just like pat like I don't drag it along I just pat it and that I feel like because that brush is already quite sharp it just quite it just kind of cuts it for me so I don't like to drag it when I'm actually cutting the crease and I just get my desired shape and happy with that So now I'm just taking a clean brush and patting that just like I did with the base before just to get a nice base and I'm taking that small brush again with the two lighter brown shadows just to blend out the outer corner and then progressively just take the yellow and the orange just to make it all easily blend in and now here's me being unprepared and then buying out my pigments. So. Now I am just deciding and I'm trying to find, I was so split I didn't know if I should do like a classic like champagne or if I should go for a rose gold but I feel like more people ask for a champagne so I went for Gatsby by Peaches and Cream and I also took the NYX glitter glue and I just took that on a BH Cosmetics brush, just a flat brush and packed that on to the cut crease and that just makes it really tacky and lets the lets the pigment just give its full potential and actually stick to it. I just like to do that. So now I'm picking the pigment up on the same brush and I'm just working my way up but I don't actually touch the line. I feel like if you touch the line with too much pigment you're going to end up just it's going to, you're going to open your eye and the pigment's going to end up in the middle of your case and you don't want that. You want it to stay in where you want it. You just want it there in the cut crease. So just use more, less pigment when you come up to the, the cut. And yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And then I'm just going over with a pencil brush and just going back with the shades before to darken it out again and blend that into the pigment. So now I'm going to take the NYX liquid matte liner, well matte liquid liner and just go along until the end and I'm just going to leave it and once I get to the outer corner I'm not going to do a wing or anything, I'm just going to end up blending that out um, into the shadows so it's all quite seamless. Yeah so that's one eye done and I'm just gonna go off camera and do the other one and bam they're both done. So now I'm just going to prime my face, I'm using the Maybelline Face Studio Primer and I feel like it's quite a dupe for the Benefit Professional, I really like, I've been using it for quite a few months now, um, yeah, so just doing that. So now I'm just taking my foundation and I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC30 and I'm going to take just a, a foundation brush and put it onto the back of my hand and just paint it on just like so.
I always find that using a foundation brush to actually like placing it on everywhere you actually want it instead of using just a like an actual buffing brush you actually get more coverage and everything everything's just I don't know I just feel like it's a nicer finish Also, if you're wondering who I'm talking to, I'm talking to my wee brother. He walked into my room, asked me what I was doing, and said, Oh, you're a really good YouTuber. And I was like, Cheers, thanks. <laughs> I'm just taking a big brush and blending it down my neck. I'm taking just a beauty blender and blending that into the skin just to make sure it's all nice and smooth because it can be quite, you can end up with lines when you use a foundation brush. So just making sure it's all nice and smooth. So now I'm just taking the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover and I picked up the wrong shade the first time but I realised should my ring light I literally could not tell the difference. So that's in shade 336 golden bronze and I use that as a cream contour and I just feel like it blends in really nice. So now I'm just picking up my beauty blender again and buffing that back in and making sure that's all even as well. I'm just picking up the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in shade 15 and going under my eyes to triangles making sure I don't have any dark circles and then I will do my chin and my cubes bow and my nose and my forehead just the usual places And again, blending that out with my beauty blender. So now taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in shade 1 Transmarin underneath my eyes and my chin and my forehead just to brighten them up and then I am then going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in shade 1 to 8 as a darker one and I'm going to put that in everywhere else as we don't want them to be as bright as the chin, forehead and under eyes now I am taking a big fluffy brush and I'm taking the MAC what's that? The MAC Give Me Sun and Yeah, I got cut off there um, Taking on cheekbones, forehead just where the sun would actually hit you um, but also contouring at the same time I'm going to take it under my jawline and I'm going to take it underneath my lip and I'm going to contour my nose just to get a nice snatched feel. I wish I could speed this up more than a hand. But I can't, so we're gonna have to bear with me, or I'm just gonna have to stop actually rambling on before I even get there. So now I'm gonna just take that leftover powder on the brush to make sure there's no harsh lines of the contour because that's just nasty, we don't want that. Then I am just taking another big fluffy brush. I'm gonna take the Soap and Glory Love It First blush, and it's just like a I'm loving a shimmer blush right now, I don't know why it's so different. But yeah, I think it just adds a bit of a glow. And now I'm taking my Morphe setting spray and my 
Doll Beauty Highlight in shade Shine Bright. I'm just taking up my high points, my cheekbones. I'm going to take it onto my cupid bow, my nose, chin, forehead again. But try not to put too much on your forehead. I hate a really shiny forehead. Now onto brows, I'm just going to pick up um, the Makeup Revolution pomade. I usually use the Anastasia one but it's run out and there's no point in me getting one right now while we're in lockdown. So I actually took the wrong shade. I didn't really like how light that was in my brows so I took the shade Ebony and just put that through my brows. Starting putting a line underneath and just feathering that through. So now I'm going to do the other brow of Camina. There we go. So now I'm taking that brow gel, same one from the start, and I'm putting that through my brows again to set them, just get them in the desired shape I want. So now for maybe my favourite bit, because I love how much this ties looks together. So I'm taking the Inglot um, 77 gel liner, which is just really the black one. I'm taking that on a wee small brush and putting that into my waterline. To make it all really pretty and then once I've done that I am going to pick up the shadows from before so starting with the haul and then blending that out with the Zulu brown so haul's the one from the the Stace Marie palette and then just Placing that with a wee small brush and then with a bigger brush putting that Zulu palette brown down. So now I'm just taking a big fluffy brush to make sure it's all blended underneath and I've done the other side of camera. I'm now taking the WA highlighting palette and taking the shade like a diamond and putting that on my inner corner and my brow bone just to add even more sparkle and then i'm taking a fluffy brush just to make sure that i didn't lose any shadow while doing that so now i've done my lashes and my mascara off camera and now i'm taking the um it's a pre-mark lip liner and it's in the shade Toffee and I think it's actually such a stunning colour. It's so they're so cheap and they're so so creamy. I love them. I'm so so obsessed. Now just to get that kind of ombre look. On the lips I'm taking a shade lighter and I'm going to take the Viva Glam 2 by MAC and just pat that with my lips and make sure that's all blended. I'm quite happy with that but I was kind of going for a glossy look so I took the NYX um, butter gloss in the shade Madeline. I thought that was a really nice combo together. So yeah. So that's just kind of bringing the look to an end, just fix my hair. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm so thankful for anybody who actually sat through this. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Bye. I also just wanted to say that this was just a bit of fun and that I hope everybody is doing really well and healthy and I'm thinking about you all.